Hello everybody, how's it going out there? Um, welcome to day two of the Mindful Eating Challenge for Runners. I'm going to um, start slow here and hope that some people hop online, catch me live here. Um, I hope that you did the challenge, the two-part challenge from day one, and I hope you've read through the day two part of the challenge, which is on finding your why. I used to struggle with nutrition, you guys. I've always been great at running. I've always been great at pushing my body. I love pushing my body. I struggled on the food side. I binge ate when no one was looking, especially in the afternoons when I was starving um, because maybe I'd skipped my lunch. <laughs> um, I would binge eat at the end of the day. When I was emotional or stressed, I would go to food when no one was looking, okay? So I get, um, the food struggle with runners. And I often would use in my head, I'd say, well, I ran, so it doesn't matter. But I'd still, um, so then I eat the food, and then I'd feel really good right now, and I'd feel really satisfied emotionally. Stress would kind of feel like it would melt away. And then I'd be left with this insane guilt, heaviness, and unhappiness. And I didn't know um, what that was all about before I started doing the research, the training, um, the learning that I had to do to get out of that um, and I will talk about that later more throughout the week how I broke free from the stress the emotional the binge eating that was leaving me exhausted sugar craving holding weight in all the wrong places exhausted irritable um, a hormonal mess who was pretty unhappy in my life so <laughs> um, today's challenge you guys um, it comes back to why. You know, if I had just kept going on the way it was going, nothing would have changed. But I stopped and I said, what am I doing? How do I want to feel and how do I want to look? And if when I was just running and running and running and eating and eating all the food, feeling miserable, I was, I was breaking down, okay? And I was feeling terrible. So what I did and what I want you guys to do is reconnect to your why, okay? Because I'd be good for a few days of eating, be good, right? Staying on track, try this diet, try that detox, track, track my food for a few days, feel really good about myself, and then I'd fall back off track again and I'd be emotional, stressed, and binge eating all the food, skipping meals throughout the day, struggling with the sugar cravings, falling off track, getting back on track again. I had to stop. And, and ask myself, what do I really want, right? So often life is so busy, we never stop and ask ourselves, what do I want? How do I wanna look and how do I wanna feel? Can I keep going at the pace I'm going? And for me, I knew that I had, I was struggling with my body, I was struggling after babies, with my food, with my career, with my relationships, and so, I would turn to food for comfort for that. I would run and run and push my body, and then I would emotionally and stress eat, okay? And it was not serving me. I was not in a good physical, or a good emotional state for my family or for myself. I wasn't able to give to my kids. I was worried that they were gonna get you know, they were gonna see mommy miserable, they didn't see mommy eating, they saw mommy like eating all this crappy food. I wanted, I wanted to be better, I wanted more energy, I wanted to feel sexy in my body again, I wanted to feel confident in myself again. And when I did this work, I did this work, I do this work all the time, I redo it when I need to remind myself, when I need to pull myself up if I'm about to fall off track again, I stopped and I asked myself, what do I really want? How do I really want to look and how do I really want to feel? Okay, if you want to start to eat mindfully and get in control of your food and your nutrition to transform your health, your body, and your running performance, you've got to know what you want, you've got to know how you want to look, and how you want to feel. So I really, really want you guys um, to look through this. So if you found yourself saying or thinking any of these things, I've tried so many times, but I need to eat better, but I can't find the time. I can't seem to get motivated or stay motivated. I have no willpower. Um, it's too hard to eat right now. I don't have time. I eat well for a day or two. I don't see results or life gets in the way. And then I stop. 
I fall off track. It keeps happening. I need more motivation. I need more willpower. I need another meal plan, another diet, another program, another coach, like all this stuff. Looking externally, you need to stop and look internally, okay? Um, those are all your brain's natural mechanisms protecting you from doing the hard thing, from doing the uncomfortable thing, which is stopping and bringing mindfulness into today and getting clear with yourself and getting raw and getting honest with yourself. What do I want? How do I want to look? And how do I want to feel? And why does it matter? Okay, why does it matter? Find your why. That is what's going to guide you to nourish your body, right? It's going to guide you to make better choices throughout your day. It's going to dictate how you live your life. Um, when you start to put um, those thoughts in your head, that dictates your, your, your thoughts, your behaviors, and your actions, okay? Um, this is so powerful. If you spend your whole day just on autopilot, never thinking about this stuff, you won't change. You'll try a diet and you won't be able to stick to it. You'll start another program and you won't be able to complete it. You've got to get deep and raw and honest. What do you want? How do you want to look? How do you want to feel? Why does it matter? Okay, get really deep, get really emotional because this, I want you to write this out because I want you to write it somewhere. When you write something down, it becomes more real as well. People who set goals and write them down have a 42% more um, likelihood that they're gonna actually achieve their goal just because they wrote it down. So write this down. I want you to keep it somewhere where you can look at it. If you're struggling with eating, if you're struggling with workouts, if you're struggling to nourish your body consistently and stay on track, look at this every day. Start your morning every day and read your why. Reconnect to your why every day. Every morning, every night. Read it in the afternoon if you need to. Um, whenever you find yourself really struggling and falling back into old patterns, read your why. Reconnect to what you want, how you want to look, and how you want to feel. Okay, it's really important stuff. Um, and you have to make it emotional because if you say, I just want to lose five pounds so that I can um, run a faster marathon, it's like not that interesting, but a lot of people are writing some good stuff, you guys. And I know for me, I wanted to be the best mom I could possibly be. I want my boys to remember me fit and happy, not fit. I want them to remember me happy, cooking them good food, sitting down for meals with them, being able to chase them and keep up with them and coach them and be available physically and emotionally for them. I wanted to, I want to be a better wife. I want to be, have the energy to cook the meals and do the laundry and take care of my family and crush all my career goals and my own training while I'm doing all that. I want to feel sexy in my body. I want to feel good in my clothes. I want to feel good in bed with my husband. I want to feel strong and confident and I want to crush my races when I do them. I don't want to drag myself across finish lines. I want to feel strong. That's where I feel in my power. And I want to, and to do that, I need to nourish my body just as much as I need to push my workouts because I consciously know that if I am pushing my body and pushing my workouts, if I want energy, if I want to improve, if I want to have the best health that's going to allow me to run marathons until I'm 80 and live an epic life, I've got to nourish my body. Processed food is not cutting it. It's making us sick. So with, I, you don't need to restrict or make a list. You just need to focus on what you want and know that nourishing your body is gonna help you to achieve those things. And when you make it emotional and you tie it to this stuff, like from what someone's shared with us, you know, I love that you're sharing um, you're being vulnerable and that's a really good thing. That's a trait of highly successful people is that they're not um, they are vulnerable, they share, and they do scary things that feel scary and hard, um, but they put themselves out there. Again, when you do that, thanks Heather, um, you start, you start those, you're starting to think about those things. Again, manifestation, right? You start to think the thoughts which drives your behavior, drives your actions. It allows you to take in information and opportunities that if you weren't thinking about it, if you weren't vulnerable, if you weren't putting yourself out there, 
you're going to just sit in this closed little drawer and nothing will change. And the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So if you expect a different result and you don't want to diet anymore and you don't want to fall off track anymore and you don't want to, you know, hate your body anymore, stop doing what you've always done and start to be vulnerable and do some things that you've never done and that scare you and that are hard. So here someone has written her why for more energy and to feel better and to look better, to be lean, to be strong and huge. It's been hugely weighing on her mind um, is that she wants to lead her children and teach them by example the importance of food and proper nutrition and that taking care of themselves is just as much about how we think about food and how we use it as it is about um, just exercise and, and diet, right? Food is a wonderful blessing from God. And she's been in one of my old programs and she appreciates that I've helped her start to rethink food from the negative side and all the things to not do and not eat and all the lists and diets and fads and I've taught her about the positive side and now she's starting to really integrate that into her life into how she eats every day. She's nourishing her body from a place of love and self-care and support and fuel as opposed to a place of fear and restriction and diet and limitations. And that is super important when you want to become a mindful eater who's nourishing her body to transform her health, shift her body composition, and improve her running performance because we're all runners, right? That's what connects us. And I know, I know so deeply and so intimately how runners love running and struggle with food. Okay, it's what I work on day in and day out with the runners in the academy, just keeping you guys on track, knowing your triggers, and we work a lot um, on healthy habits and triggers and neural pathways so that we can retrain our brains and how we, how we um, manage stress and react to emotional um, shit that goes on in our life, right? Like we have a lot of emotional stuff going on. We have a lot of stress in our lives. Anxiety is at like a massive high. Um, rates are skyrocketing, depression, obesity, like we need to be mindful, we need to nourish our bodies because yes, running helps us manage the anxiety, the stress, the depression, the obesity, but so does how we eat. And when you can learn to, to train strong and eat right to nourish your body, you will have massive, massive changes in your physical and emotional health in your body composition, in your running, and com just completely in your life, okay? I used to run and run and run and not eat properly and always be thinking about food and struggling with food and stressing about food and abusing food when I was stressed and emotional. And now I have complete freedom for that, from that. I don't think about food, I eat super well, I don't struggle on weekends. I don't struggle through Halloween. I don't struggle through Christmas. I don't struggle through holidays. I never start again on Monday. I don't struggle through the summer. Um, I don't restrict. I don't diet. I don't count. I just eat really good, healthy, nourishing food because it feels good. Um, and it, I know that it, it, it powers up every part of my life, okay? and. It's gotten me super fit after babies without much effort, okay? After I got through retraining my brain and, and shifting some of these old, um, pro, like some of this programming that's been going on in our brains um, when stress hits and when these old habits, that's how you keep sinking into these old habits and that's what we work on in the academy, retraining your brain so you don't keep falling off track um, and getting kicked off track so easy. We're gonna work on that, we become more mindful, we learn to reprogram and become mindful of our eating, of our exercise, of the triggers that throw us off track, okay? We don't wanna be off track anymore, we wanna be on track, we wanna stay there with running and nutrition, okay? It's what, what's missing from every fitness program. It's why the diet doesn't work, the meal plan doesn't work, the free training plan doesn't work, the running coach doesn't work. I'm not a run coach, by the way, you guys. Um, I'm a wellness coach. Like I'm, I'm, 
people said to me, someone said to me, well, I don't think your program will work. I'm like, I'm, I'm struggling my body, she said to me. She said, I feel like, a, like I'm fit and strong and badass like you are, but I'm stuck in this fat girl's body. And it just doesn't, I, I can't get out of it. And she said, but I've hired a run coach before, so your program's not gonna work for me. I said, but I, I'm not a run coach. Like, I give you really great programs full of all of the super effective cutting edge strength training programs, endurance programs that you need, um, which is great, but if I can't get you to do the work with the nutrition and the mindset, if I can't get you to reprogram your brain, the best program in the world isn't gonna help. The best run coach in the world isn't actually gonna help you on the level that you need. Um, that run coach who's some dude over there doesn't get any of this and get the stress that comes along with being a busy mom who's struggling with hormones and her weight and her relationship and her career and just not having any time for herself and having like giving all of her energy to her career because I know most of you are um, caregivers in your career to then come home and take care of the entire family like he doesn't get that he's gonna tell you run 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 we need that's not good enough like I want you guys healthy from the inside out and we need to address the training the nutrition and the mindset required to reprogram to keep you on track okay it's big stuff it's heavy stuff it's stuff I love I love this I'm like the physiotherapist who never wants to talk about exercise it's really funny um, I fought that for a long time. It was really a scary place for me to admit that I'm like, I'm a, this happened in my transition after babies, right? My career, my stress, I don't, I don't, I can't just talk about exercise. I can't just rehab people from injuries with physical stuff because there's so much going on in here and I needed to learn all of this. And now I'm like so committed to helping you all understand habits, um, neural feedback loops, why, ha why bad habits are so hard to break, why you fall off track all the time and struggle to get back on, why you're not getting results, um, and really how to nourish your body for the long term and set yourself up for serious long term health, not just short term weight loss like keto is promising because we got to start thinking in long term health, you guys, not just what makes me happy right now? What's the shortest path to success? What's the fastest way for me to run a, my fastest 10K? Um, we are moms. We are busy career women with goals, um, with so many responsibilities, and we need to stay healthy. We need to feel our best. We want to look our best. We want to bring our best to all of those different areas. You gotta know how you wanna look, how you wanna feel, and you gotta know why it matters so that you can get yourself back on track and stay there okay we got to think long-term health um because it's so funny as babies like it's really hard we're really tired and then we think that it's going to get easier we're just going to wait it's going to get easier i'll deal with my nutrition later i'll start exercising later i'll stick to the program later i'll deal with this stuff later and then the kids get bigger and they're like just as busy and now we're back at work full time and we gotta drive the kids all around, we gotta do the homework and then the parents and the grandparents start getting sick and every year the pounds creep on and those automated habits get stronger and stronger and it's harder and harder to get back on track and stay there, okay? So sometimes you just need to stop and say like, this is my time to get serious about my health because it's not gonna get easier and nobody's gonna take care of me except me. No one's gonna parent me except me. So I would love if you guys could do the work. Don't fall off track in this, in this five days. Like I already can see people are falling off track. Yesterday, you know, 65% of people opened the emails. Today, 20% of, of people opened the emails. Yesterday, like a whole bunch of you, a lot of you did the homework and today, not as many. Are you gonna be someone who doesn't make it through the week and falls off track? Or are you gonna stay with me and be focused and disciplined and do the hard work, get your nutrition back on track and stick this program out and stay on track? I challenge you guys, stay on track, focus, discipline. Um, five minutes a day, okay? Um, if you have any questions, reach out. 
Um, please continue to do the homework today. Write it out in a journal. Keep it close. Review. Read that thing every day. That is what's going to get you back up on the days when it's hard. You feel like you want to quit. Um, when life hits you, look at that. Look at your why. Reconnect to your why. How you want to look, how you want to feel, and why it matters. All right? I'm going to let you go. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow for day three. Have an awesome afternoon.